Hello. Current topic is about the record life cycle and its management. Record life cycle is central topic in the ref records management. Records life cycle is of course a metaphor. Everything which has been born must be died, or killed or destroyed. In the records management uh, field we name this concept disposition of record. Disposition, transfer, destruction. Disposition might be either to the uh, archives or just to destroy records which not longer needed. Uh, this life cycle metaphor of course is um, uh, from the nature. Generally we can speak about the life cycle uh, in the different way and um, uh, it is a quite general concept. The concept is not old. This concept was um, rooted or, uh, or established by American um, uh, archivist uh, Theodor Schellenberg in his uh, book uh, Modern Archives from 1956. There was a chapter about the records management and in this uh, book he developed so-called life cycle management concept as a route for all archives how records will, will be transferred from records management or registry system, whatever they call them, to the archives. Records life cycle is um, rooted on two principles. First of all, it is consisted of uh, functional classification of activities or functions, broad, broad classification of functions. Uh, Theodor Schellenberg called them substantive functions and facilitative functions. Substantive functions are the uh, main aim of the organization which we analyzing, which, is, which consisted of doing something, had a business in the, this kind or that kind of, of field. For example, foreign ministry has foreign policy, security policy, diplomacy uh, and, and other activities. And uh, uh, for example, local governments has much more activities. In Estonia, for example, local government has um, 21 activities, functions, they, they call it broad activities or functions, and so on. These are substantive functions. Uh, facilitative functions are um, more or less same for all uh, uh, organizations. There are different um, possibilities to divide or to, to name uh, facilitative functions, but generally we can say that there is a four, five or six uh, uh, facilitative functions. These are uh, management as such. This is the information management, information IT management. Uh, third is uh, personnel management. Fifth is accounting, all which is consisting on accounting and financial management. And um, um, fifth is uh, asset management in the broad sense of asset, which is all, as all as aspects of assets. And uh, in some, some classifications, sixth of the, of the facilitative functions are, is also distinct, uh, uh, made dis uh, distinction. Uh, this is um, um, communication as a function, as, uh, as a broader uh, group of activities. These are pretty much the same for every organization. Substantive functions are different. These functions are divided uh, usually to the activities and activities by themselves to transactions, which, which means that uh, in the records life cycle management, we first dividing uh, all the activity, all what is organization doing to the functions, to activities and to transactions. Term of activity is not well defined. Uh, some name it as a process, the process is, some name it even as a workflow and so on. Uh, Later I will describe um, how activities are um, linked into the, to the records management 
uh, and what is the linkage? Here I am only saying that the linkage will be uh, linkage is made uh, through the serious system of record serious system in records management. I will describe serious system later. Uh, these functions might be evaluated. Not all the activities are same value. And the uh, second central uh, part of the Schellenberg's, Schellenberg's theory of the records lifecycle management is theory of value. All the records has a value. Schellenberg made a distinction between uh, different values. First of all, first uh, distinction is uh, that there are primary value and secondary value. Primary value is value for business. I'm looking on the bill and I will accept it or not. This is a primary value. Or primary value is I'm looking from, for, from, from uh, uh, meeting minutes what has been decided. And I will follow this decision. These are the tasks of, of the, of the, of the, of the uh, decisions and so on. This value is value for me or value for organization. Secondary value is value for others. Others looking. For example, uh, in, the, in, the, in the medical branch, uh, doctor will uh, write me a recipe and I will go to the pharmacy to buy something on the, uh, based on the recipe. This is for, for, uh, for pharmacy, this record has, of course, the first value also is he's, he's, uh, relayed on, on this and, and, and se selling me some kind of a pharmacy, but also secondary value, he trusting, he trusted, uh, he's trusting the, the, the record, the document. The secondary value is um, uh, also divided and this division is um, quite central for the records management. This division is, uh, is division into the information value and uh, evidential value. This division is to into the information value and evidential value. Evidential value is a value which we, when we look on the record, we can trust this record as a basis for transaction, for, for concrete tran transaction. Meet, pay the bill, do something, look on this and, and so on and so on. This evidential value uh, is not the same all the time. Information value also changes and it's quite flexible, but evidential value uh, might be linked to the juridical system and uh, has some kind of juridical consequences. Uh, for example, in Estonia, we have to, uh, to keep uh, all the uh, account, account uh, records for seven years because they have evidential value, value for seven years and other other branches of, uh, of, of, uh, uh, of uh, administration like tax and uh, customs uh, organization might come and, and uh, made an audit on our um, financial system. This is evidential value. After, and, and of course, if we didn't pay the taxes, they might uh, look and, and say and, uh, why, why you didn't pay it and so on and so on. But after 20 years, of course, I didn't pay the taxes, they can look on it, find the same information, but never uh, say to us, you need to pay these taxes which you didn't pay 20 years ago, for example. But five years ago, yes, you can. This is evidential value. In general, uh, some evidential values come from the juridical system, like for example, in the legal acts in civil, civil law, there is a 10 years of uh, evidential value of the um, agreements that you can go to the court in 10 years and so on and so on. Of course, not all the, not all the uh, records has uh, uh, directly given value, which is the time you have to keep these records. Many of the, of the records, you don't find these evidence, uh, evidential value from, from positive law. 
and you need to establish it. And of course, the organization evaluating their records by evaluating their transactions, by their activities, by their functions, and giving this value, establishing the uh, retention period. They called it in the, in the records management field, the retention period and, uh, uh, the, peer and, and the regime under which this re retention period must be managed, named the retention schedule, under the retention schedule. There are different uh, activities you need to you follow. This is the first uh, part, so-called uh, theoretical part of the, of the uh, records lifecycle management. I repeat it. First was the division into the functions, and the second is evaluation of the value of these functions, activities under the functions. The second part of this system, so-called uh, more um, uh, pragmatic part, is that you need some kind of some 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 sort of a tool to to manage this uh, records life cycle there are different tools about it but the central tool how to manage um, uh, records life cycle in estonia in in england uh, in many parts of the united states and a lot of other english speaking languages and also in some some uh, countries like germany uh, now also taking this um, this this tool it called in english classification scheme you establishing classification scheme Classifi classification scheme is hierarchical um, um, scheme type type of the scheme is hierarchy and it is consists of of uh, functions series under functions and uh, records which is this in the in the, in the series records aggregated into the files, I will cover the files topic a little bit later. Let's look on the, on the classification scheme in, in more details. Classification scheme is hierarchical scheme. It consists of, of, uh, of functions, sub-functions, series, sub-series, and uh, uh, in many, many cases there is also files uh, meaning is uh, aggregation of, uh, of, uh, of documents into the files uh, linked to this series system. In some countries, classification scheme is made separately from, from uh, file system. The file system is called file plan, plan of the files. Which ki what kind of files, meaning is uh, aggregation of records, you have. Classification scheme is... Um, uh, made uh, by doing analysis, analysis of, of functions, activities and transactions. Uh, these substantive functions and facilitative functions are used, they are named. Some uh, systems made this naming uh, more wider, some just named it as a, some kind of, of uh, vocabulary concept or term or something like this. Uh, I like more uh, the system where uh, uh, functions, um, names of the functions, titles of the functions are uh, 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 more uh, short or shorter, not so wide. For example, not the uh, uh, general management of organization, but just management or, or not the uh, uh, personnel management and uh, training, just personnel management is enough, or even just uh, uh, in, in some languages, not ma management might be, might be linked to the personnel management is one word, uh, for example. Uh, usually, classification scheme is made uh, separately. It has more hierarchical uh, levels, four, five, but uh, where, when, when, when you want to use it in, in the records management uh, software application, it's better than you don't do so uh, um, uh, sophisticated um, scheme and um, simplifying this. I like mostly the classification scheme where there's only one level of functions not sub-functions and only one level of, of series, not sub-series. But sometimes you can't uh, avoid 
um, subseries or subfunctions, but I'm always trying to avoid uh, both of them. Uh, it is, my, by my mind, too sophisticated and difficult to use. Facilitated functions are four or five, and substantive functions are two. I have seen one, and I have seen 20 substantive functions. This is analyst, analytical questions, uh, how to make a uh, distinction between one function and another, and I'm not covering this here. I'm only uh, explaining the structure of the, of the classification scheme. The structure of the classification scheme is best to divide classifications um, into some 15, uh, 20, sometimes 10 is enough. It's a first level. The, uh, I'm using general um, uh, I am generally understanding that you have to, to see all the functions on the screen, then it's good. Second level um, is series. Uh, establishing series is uh, the most uh, time-consuming and difficult part of, the, of making classification scheme. You need to do both ana analysis. The analysis of the, of the functions, which means that you need to, to uh, divide functions into the, some kind of um, of, uh, of activities, processes, you have to name it and you have to make these um, uh, processes, activities named as series. Of course, there are different uh, ways to do series and series system. Uh, one way is these activities and this is, the, by my mind, the best way, but sometimes you just need to, to uh, Establish series by uh, making one series based on the on the record type, for example, degree degrees or or uh, minutes or or uh, or incoming or outgoing letters and so on. But sometimes it's best to do it based on the on the on the activities. Why on the activities? Because you need to evaluate the activity. Value of the organizational activity is uh, directly linked to the serious value and retention period, retention time, what, what you're putting, putting on the series. On the series. Uh, then you have to, to find out, uh, do you put it into in one, one type of records into one series and other type of records into other series, or you make files which consist of different types of records and so on. Sometimes, a classification scheme is um, uh, made uh, mm. by dividing activities into very uh, narrow terms and uh, classification scheme uh, and, and series, name of the series for example, not based on that on the activity, it doesn't consist, uh, the naming of the series doesn't consist activity, but more or less like some kind of vocabulary term. I don't like it and we don't use it in Estonia this way. We use it by, by this way that we are putting generally activity into the name of the series. Only when we use uh, a series of, the, of the one type of records, then we don't use it. Uh, and uh, we don't uh, do very sophisticated uh, classification schemes. For example, in English, in England, the uh, local government classification scheme, you can find it easily into the, in the internet, is quite um, sophisticated and you can look on it. It's a four, four level scheme and then this scheme is linked with, into the file plan. File plan is, di uh, is separate from classification scheme. In Estonia, we uh, linking them and uh, opening or uh, case files or, or period files, uh, annual files, meaning is annual files, directly under the series. And all the documents, all the records go to the, to the file, which is directly linked to the, to the series. But it is not the only way how to do it. You can also establish uh, different uh, uh, file plan and uh, group documents into the file plan and then just uh, uh, use the terms, or the terms or classes of the classification scheme linking them uh, either to the file or to the group of the record or even into the record. Use it as a, as a, as a term in classification scheme. Classification scheme is a tool. How to uh, manage records life cycle. It's a records management a life cycle uh, tool because it, after, uh, among uh, 
together with uh, classification scheme and this file plan part uh, has uh, retention period established and linked directly to these classes. Uh, retention period, evaluation and retention period based on the annual attention period or, 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 or the timing of, of, of the time period, for example, 25 years or up to the 250 or something like this, uh, you're directly linking it for a series and all the records, all the files in this series have same retention period. And you will uh, uh, then manage the retention period or on the files. Uh, not on the level of, of each record, but on the level of aggregation, meaning is, is on the level of, of file. This was the basics about the classification scheme, how to do it and how to manage it.